before we leave, and I know we, we, we'll, we'll get a chance to wrap up now. It's been lovely to talk to you. I did want to talk to you about your experience with the Mandela effect. Mm -hmm. And for people who don't know, the Mandela effect is when, when uh, a group of people share a memory that never happened. Um, That's the Mandela yeah. effect. I, I kind of, and I'm not a group of people, but the example I give for me was I remember being a little fella, like two, uh, being for a trip in the South Island, coming down from Auckland, do the caravan around the South Island, and there being an incident with a prickle. And being an incident where the prickle was stuck in the foot and I was having to be pinned down and held on a table. Now, the truth is, sure. I don't know if I can remember that or I don't know if I've embedded that into my brain because I've or heard maybe that you saw story, a photo or something. Yeah. Heard the story told so many times about having to hold Patty down as a two year old to get the prickle out of his foot. You probably have one of the most famous Mandela effect uh, issues yeah. that ever happened in New Zealand. And I can't have you, Jace without showing a little bit of yeah. this. Least, yeah. um, and of course the Mandela, well, let's not, I mean, like I, I, you know what I'm talking about with the Mandela effect and some people will know, but let's not quite reveal it yet as to why this is the Mandela effect, but let's just have a look at that very famous situation where a thingy okay. lost an onion. Yeah. Mine, it's got gibbles, I've seen some handlebars. Let's just sort of thing, it's a sort of thing. Oh, we missed the whoops. That was a good, let's go back, let's go back one. Gibbles, I've seen some handlebars. Let's just sort of thing, it's a sort of thing, it's a sort of thing, it's a sort of thing. There he goes, anyway. Yeah. Sort of thing you'd say, and the conver and the conversation anyway, starts anyway, between uh, you and Thingy. Now, for people who don't know, tell people mm. why that's the Mandela effect about a group of people with a memory of something that yeah. happened that never happened. Because people say to me all the time, and uh, they say, "Hey, I do, hey, Jase, I remember, mate. I remember I was at home that day. What a day that was! I'll never forget that day. I was at home and I saw it, and mate, it was it was shocking. It really. Oh, I'll never forget that. I go so, and I go so. So, are you aware? I go. Mate, we, we were all home. I remember the after. I remember the day that happened. I go, you know, you see, now that is not because the son of a gun show, we got to the stage where we were making five shows in a day or three shows and two shows. So it wasn't live. So all sorts of things. And trust me, all sorts of things would happen, which could never <laughs> play out to the nation of children. Uh, oh, no way. No way. My word. Burn those tapes. So um, so they could. And that's an example. When Thingy's eye pops out, you record that. We laugh, laugh, laugh. One of us probably swore at the end of that take and said, oh, well, OK, shit. What? Cut, cut. Went back, reinsert eye with glue, do it again. Right. But <laughs> people remember it as happening. So then you say, why? Well, what happened is we got a call like about six months a year later and someone said hey do you have we're making a bloopers show that's the thing to do on tv2 at the moment we'll make a bloopers show have you got any crazy bloopers seems to work on american television oh, God, i don't think we've got anything i mean hey dude wait you've got that one where your eye fell out that was, that was kind of funny trust me i believe there were funnier things but maybe it couldn't be shown anyway um and so we sent them that and so that one on the blooper show this is before the internet too so it got it got a lot of following and then Jerry Wells made uh, Eating Media Lunch. Yeah, brilliant show. And in his opening titles, he included that little guy coming out in, in the opening titles. So it became anchored in people's mind and people would talk about it. And then when YouTube did come out, you know, and we got on the internet, it, it got huge following this moment, 10 greatest moments. Really? 10 greatest moments in New Zealand television. It's like, I think that never happened. popping out as one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, what does that say about New Zealand television? But um, yeah, so that's, you're so right, mate. It's like, it never actually happened. Yeah. Uh, it was a pre-recorded show. We went back and redid it. And, but people remember it as, as happening and remember the day. So often I just, look, I go, Hey, if you remember it, I don't want to be that guy who goes, that didn't happen. You're wrong. <laughs> you just, you just let it be. You just, you go with that. But when they press me some more, I'm like, yeah, no, that didn't, uh, that didn't really happen. Nah. 